first story of the day, we have a mugshot. This twa uh, this this lady right here. Uh, <laughs> she's the lady who was drunk driving, and then I pulled the keys out of her ignition because her window was open, and she was slow enough to where I could reach her. Um, and when she <laughs> a thing I forgot to mention in that video um, was she said like, "Why are you touching me?" When I was reaching my hand in there trying to pull the keys out. And unfortunately, I didn't know that the car has to be in park before you can rip the keys out. <laughs> but eventually, I got it and then ripped them out. But um, she said, why are you touching me? I thought, like, why would I want to touch you, lady? Are you kidding me? But anyway, while I was trying to get the keys out, I was so disappointed because I thought, man, this would be a great video. These video camera glasses right here. But I didn't have them. Um, but I really wanted them just for my own safety. Um, or in case of, like, she were to run me over or something, please could look at the video. Or if she was going to claim like sexual harassment or something like that, I could get off. Video cameras are awesome for that. Um, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it, I, I did a little research on her, and apparently she was a, a special education teacher uh, many years ago, and she's 66 um, currently. Uh, pick up sticks. She was charged with driving with a BAC over 0.17, which is. Uh, over twice the legal limit, but I don't know what it was. It could be like three, four times. I don't know. All I know is that there's the charge in Michigan operating while intoxicated, and then operating while intoxicated, 0.17 or more. Um, but she was so wasted, so hammered. I've never seen someone so hammered. And it's like, if you want to kill yourself with alcohol, go ahead, do it. Uh, but just don't take anyone with you, moron. It's so disappointing, too, because you'd think she'd know better, especially being at that age. Um, but but I, I don't care about her, her history, her past. Uh, her background, it's irrelevant. I mean, no excuses for that crap. And like, oh, you shouldn't judge her, blah, blah, dude, she was driving drunk and she almost killed someone. I can judge her. And surely the judge can, too. <laughs> Look, my, my judgment means nothing, right? I'm not the one sentencing her, so. Um, but it's just stupid. They get off left and right with these kinds of, it's just, it makes me mad. And it's like, I, I really like being, like, some people say that, oh, you're so happy in your videos and blah, blah, blah. And it's hard for me to read that, and I think I've said that before, because I'm not always happy. Um, this whole week I've been down because of that, that loser, drinking and driving. It just ticks me off. Um, but it's just, I know it happens all the time, but when you're, when you're there, uh, first person, and you see someone like that, it, it really just makes me mad. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I think I feel too much. Um, but it's just, it's just, uh, but I just, I, li I like being real and telling you what's on my mind, and it's anger is there. Um, because it just happens so much, and especially I feel so much for the people who've had loved ones that have um, died from drunk drivers. I mean, it's, it just stinks because just an innocent pedestrian was walking on the side of the road, uh, on the sidewalk, um, and then probably just getting out of college class, since there's a, there's a campus right there, with her backpack, right, wanting to do something, wanting to get things done in life, uh, and then you have this, this old fart who's, who's drunk driving and almost taking it all away, and that just ticks me off. Like, lady, you just wanted to feel so good, so you went out and drank like crazy, only to almost mess someone's life up. Uh, just for your own selfishness? I hate that. Like, what a moron. I don't know. Um, but it's just so stupid. Like, this, this kind of crap. Just foolishness. Woman gets head stuck in exhaust pipe. Fire department had to be called. They had to take off the exhaust pipe and somehow cut it open to get her head out of there. Um, and it's just in police involvement, and she was cited for underage drinking. What? Like, I shouldn't laugh at this, because it's really not funny at all. Like, if I was younger, I'd be thinking this is a hilarious story. And it is. It's kind of funny. But it's, it's more... It, <laughs> it's, it's more just, like, thinking, like, what are you doing, lady? It's like, it's, I don't know. It just drives me nuts, these people. Stupid. Another thing I hate, I actually regret I'm doing a story about this, but I'm just going to go with this since I already started. But I, I regret even covering this. Because she's, she, she, she posted something on Instagram or, or Facebook or something. Yeah, I'm the tailpipe girl. What you want to know about it? It's so stupid. Like, oh, you're so cool because you got your, you were so drunk. You, you got your head stuck in a tailpipe. It's just so stupid. I mean, how talented are you seeking so fame for that? It's just, it's just stupid. Like, that's why it's not funny at all. It's just foolish. It's totally foolish. I mean, surely you can get high in other ways that doesn't involve that kind of crap. <laughs> Look how high this raccoon was. See, that's a nice story. I like this. I like this. The raccoon climbed 12 stories. Very good. <laughs> that's a long drop, because in college I took classes on the fifth floor. And you look down and you think it was debatable whether or not you could survive or not. That's what I thought. Um, but 12 stories, like this, we're talking no fear in St. Paul, Minnesota. This is a little raccoon boy, or girl, or girl, stepping up the game. 
by the way, the raccoon was taken down and um, carefully, and um, was praised by uh, people that that thought he was cool. <laughs> you know, the the wildlife people. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm just the guys. I'm tired. Okay. Here's another cool thing. This is wrong on so many levels. <laughs> no, just one. All right. Wow. So in California, this happened. A car apparently found its way, like almost falling over the edge. That's living life on the edge, huh? Instead of hitting the brake, it was an older lady. Instead of hitting the brake, she hit the gas. Oops. <laughs> I remember seeing a tombstone. It had like a, a depiction of a foot, and it had like um a, and, and a and a brake pedal or a gas pedal, and said hit the gas instead of the brake. Uh, but but yeah, apparently this happens a lot. But usually it happens just uh, at storefronts where you see you see cars usually driven by older people that go pff, that plow right through everything. Um, but but with this, uh, oh boy, <laughs> that's kind of funny. No, that's not funny. No, thankfully the lady was pulled away from a, a passerby uh, before before it could have teetered over. Um, <laughs> but thank goodness for those cables. That's what they're there for. But dang, I mean, really, if you look at the cables. They didn't do that good of a job at stopping the car. <laughs> at the same time, you know, physics wins. But thankfully, gravity didn't that day. I don't know, I just think I think that was cool. <coughs> Bless me. I don't know why. I'm tired and sneezy. I have allergies, I think. No, I'm allergic to YouTube. I don't know. No. Next story. Kuwaiti TV host fired on air after complaints over her clothes. I mean, this is a, um, a country that is dominated by Islam, um, especially during Ramadan. It, uh, ideals get a little, um, what's the word, modest, I guess you could say. And apparently this attire isn't modest. And um, fired on air, boom, gone, because people had been complaining about her, about how provocative she was dressing. And I agree, look how provocative that is. That is, so uh, she's, uh, Allah would not like that. No, I think it's stupid. She can wear whatever she wants. Um, and people were complaining and saying that, I hope Allah judges you for what you're wearing, blah, blah, blah. But there is nothing wrong about what she's wearing. I don't know, it's just, I mean, I know it's all relative and like it's the big cultural difference um, with Islam and modesty and how white isn't a good color for modesty in the eyes of Islam. Um, how, <laughs> but, but it's just, it's just like, it's 2018 now, people. It's not 636 AD. What I don't like about Islam is there's a lot of oppression against women. And I know a lot of Muslims are going to hate me saying that, but if a true Muslim would totally agree with me. You look in your Quran and there's a lot of stuff in there that's downright just so oppressive. And I know you may say that, oh, it's for, for Allah, it's, for, it's, it's, it's okay because it's Allah and it's, he's the, the master and the, the great one, blah, 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 and we have to obey and blindly, blah, blah, whatever. Um, but it's like, it's 2018 now, guys, come on, like, get with the program. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, um, like, if people, uh, I don't mind Muslims at all. I have a lot of Muslim friends. Um, uh, one guy from uh, Pakistan and a girl from Bosnia that I met in college. So I guess, yeah, I have two Muslim friends. <laughs> um, and they were really nice people, but the girl, she didn't, she, she, uh, she was Muslim, but she she dressed like she wasn't a Muslim. I mean, she dressed like very pr provocatively, even by Western culture standards. And I think that's great. I think people can wear whatever they want without being judged. I don't know. It's just it seems like it seems like uh, people are being held captive um, based on their ideals. Um, but and like if if you people think like that, I, I went too far by saying that. I don't really care. I'm just telling you how I feel. And I think that's very important. Uh, if if I'm feeling angry, I'll express that. If I'm feeling happy, of course, I'll express that. I actually love filming. I love filming, like, like dumpster diving videos and, and stuff like that. So it's so much fun to me. Um, editing takes a long time. It's not as fun. It's just kind of boring. Um, but, but, like, the filming stuff is, like, a riot. And um, videos like this, eh, they're okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's just more serious, you know. Um, but um, as far as live streaming goes, I love live streaming because it's just like, there is no editing. It's just like, vroom. and it's completely natural too, but that's kind of bad because I say things a lot of times that are really out there that I could regret. It's never happened yet because like I, everything I've said in my videos that I've published, I don't regret. Um, but I, th I think that if you're, when you're live streaming, it's different because you don't, 
consciously decide to, you know, edit it, hit the publish button. So, I mean, and I have a history of, like, you know, stuff like that. As far as, um, like, what I say personally to, to people, some of it can be out there. Um, but um, I, I think I may be getting my smartphone in the mail today. Let me check the shipping status. Um, as since my other one kind of, like, it got, it got wet. <laughs> but, um, so there probably will be a live stream. Um, yeah, okay, it's delivered. Okay, great. Yeah, th so there, there will be a live stream tomorrow, which is uh, Sunday, Sunday morning. Um, uh, um, let me think. I want to do it early because it's going to be hot. It's going to be 97 degrees right now. There will be a live stream tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock Eastern. Um, or if you're in the UK, that's uh, 12 o'clock. Is that right? Yes, 12 o'clock UK time, noon, um, and then 7 o'clock in the morning Eastern in the United States. There will be a live stream tomorrow, dumpster diving, uh, a live dive, and it will be on Instagram. Later, um, I like Instagram just because it's different from YouTube. It's just like a different medium, so I don't, I don't feel like there has to be, a, like, a, uh, I don't know. It just feels like, it feels, it's, it's just like a chill mood. It's like chill, you know. I don't know, but I will live stream on YouTube in the future. Um, but like for now, I'm just having fun on Instagram. <laughs> so thank you all, and um, have a nice weekend. Happy Father's Day tomorrow, right? I won't do a Father's Day video, um, just because like men are more intimidating than women. <laughs> as far as giving them random crap, which I have a lot of crap, no, I don't care. It's just, um, I, I think I used to be doing videos every day. Um, for like for the last couple of weeks until like yesterday, and I just thought that I want to I want to make more high quality. Like I know I know that they're pretty good right now, um, but I just I in the future I don't see that happening just because like I'm always thinking like what's the next idea and stuff and that takes time, and um, like editing too takes a ton of time, um, and I want to focus more on my my day job my work because it has cut into that a little bit. And another thing too I've I've been kind of like distancing myself from from people like friends and family and stuff like it just because I've been so busy with like with YouTube and like programming um, so um, I think it's healthy to, to like have a couple days off a week you know what I mean I mean I don't see it as work I don't see YouTube as work um, but it's just taking up a lot of time for my actual work um, so um, I, 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 I don't know I just have no life right now <laughs> never really did I've always been very oriented on, on work and like you know business and stuff like that um, but I, th I think it's okay to, uh, to yeah, just enjoy time with, with by yourself and away from the camera, because uh, the camera is an amazing thing. It's it can it can help build you up and it can help destroy you. <laughs> no, just kidding about the latter. Not not too much. Um, but it's just it's just nice. I because I'm a very private person. And, like I don't share. Like I would never share. Like oh, this is what I had to eat today. This is what I did today. Blah blah blah. Um, but so that's why I, I think I like having themes to my videos because they're not just like I, I don't know I have a guard a total guard in my life, um, but um, I think it's healthy that way. Cause if I if I laid you everything out there, <laughs> as far as my personal life, I mean first of all it's stupid. I don't know like why people would be interested, and secondly I think it would just be um, I think it would be too much. I like having a personality guard. No, not a personality guard, but just, you know, just like, um, a private life, yeah, because, like, it is kind of annoying, like, reading people say that you're a serial killer all the time, <laughs> just joking, 